Good morning, it's Tina Traster. Hey, and before we get started with the meat of the matter here, I want to just say that the uh, Tina Traster and the Rockland County Business Journal is sponsored in part by the Ugell Law Firm. Oh, I'm Scott Ugell of the Ugell Law Firm. I don't have to tell you how our world has dramatically changed. Today, many people are suffering financially and often do not know where to turn for help as they have many questions. I have been practicing consumer law for over 35 years and have handled thousands of cases where we help people save their home through loan modifications and or forbearance agreements by going to state Supreme Court, bankruptcy court, or without having to go to court at all. Please give me a call as every situation is different, and let me tell you how I might be able to help you or someone you love. I'm Scott Ugell of the Ugell Law Firm. And with that, we say good morning, Tina Traster. Morning, Rockland County. How is everybody? Well, you know, the sun's trying to come out, so it, it got from worse to a little better. Yeah, the sun might have some trouble today, but I think tomorrow it might appear. Um... So, did you know that um, between 1920 and and today, 100 years, that life, the lifespan has doubled? Uh, according to the CDC, the average uh, life in the United States is 78.7, or almost 80 years old. So, why am I talking about that? Because we are seeing this kind of go-go, pent-up desire uh, amongst uh, developers and property owners to do senior housing on their sites. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just want to go over some interesting numbers uh, before we, we talk about the latest project, which is the Kennelly Square project um, on 9W in Clarkston, in Congress. Uh, that was green-lighted for another 25 one-bedroom units uh, for market-rate senior housing. But let's just look at some stats uh, without being too wonky. Um, so New York, behind Hawaii and California, uh, is, the th is the third highest-ranking state when it comes to the average age span at 80.5 years old. Now, in uh, Orangetown, for example, the, um, let's see, oh no, I'm sorry, in Rockland County, excuse me, according to the nine, 2019 census data, the number of New Yorkers that are 65 and older increased 26% in the past decade. And, and I find this really interesting, in Rockland County, 46% of all households are now headed by people 55 and older, 80% of whom are homeowners. Um, in Orangetown, for example, 32% of its residents are 55 and older. And in, um, let's see, in, in Clarkstown, uh, that number is, uh, is, is 36%. So, but if you look at the slice of 55 to 64, this is interesting. In Clarkstown, this represents the greatest single slice of the population at 16%. So housing, senior housing. Everyone's buzzing about senior housing. Why? One is we just have to look at the stats to see that we have an aging population. Uh, and then two, we, would, we can look at home ownership and its, its burden and the taxes in this, in this county and in New York. Three, when um, developers come to the planning boards or, or the towns to try to do senior housing, they, I believe that there's a perceived, um, there's a perception that it is easier to uh, get a project through like that, then perhaps a denser, um, re you know, regular multifamily housing because it is not a burden to the school system because you're not adding another 100 kids into whatever school district it is. And the other, the other argument that usually holds some sway is that the, um, it, it doesn't add quite as much traffic or try to, quite as much, um, you know, cars uh, to the traffic patterns uh, because 55 and older, 
you know, you, you might tend to have one to two single family, uh, single units uh, or two bedroom units and maybe one car uh, per, uh, per unit. So um, Clarkstown, which, which um, is in the midst of, of its, uh, of, of just introduced its comprehensive plan and Orangetown is in the midst of, of its comprehensive plan, uh, everyone is looking at senior housing. Uh, we published a story today that talked about the owner of Kennelly's Grill House on 9W has been given uh, has been given a special permit to build market rate senior housing. Uh, that's the uh, that's right across from from Rockland Lake, and um, in this case, this is the owner uh, who is looking to demolish the existing structures and construct a three-story senior housing apartment building on that 1.3-acre site, um, which I said is, is just south of, of uh, Lake, Lake Road in Congress. Um, in Clarkstown itself, uh, th this is complicated, but there are, there's, a, there's a cap right now that's, that's broken out in, into two sections, and I, I won't get into the deep dive here. You can read the story online. But there's, there's a, a, an aim to, to put in 1,500 um, senior housing units, partially by special permit and partially in a floating zone. And uh, the, the town is, is, is moving pretty quickly toward that goal, um, and that goal has heated up in the last couple of years and continues to, to do so. Similarly, in, uh, in Orangetown, Toll Brothers, which is a, a national uh, house building company, uh, is aiming to put 40 units uh, on Gatto Lane. So uh, this is this is an interesting trend. The there's you know the argument is is that uh, seniors uh, need a place to um, to go, but they would like to stay here. They have children, they have grandchildren, um, but they age out of their houses. They downsize. It's too the, the list of, of taxes is too heavy to, to uh, burden. And um, what, what we're seeing is, is a lot of properties uh, that, that might have, I don't know, in the past you might have seen a, 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 strip, a strip center development um, along 9W, uh, or you might have seen just regular multifamily housing. Uh, but now, as we've been saying uh, this morning, Senior housing is, is kind of the, 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 the go-to right now uh, because all around there just seems to be a lot of rationalization for it. So, barring um, a, a turn in the demographic trends, uh, I would say that uh, keep an eye out for this because it seems to be um, what's, what's, what's coming down the pike. But what, what is market value? As you mentioned, you said that before and it really triggered. Is market value still unaffordable? unaffordable? It probably is. Um, the average cost of, of uh, um, yeah, I think, I think it, it, it's, it's probably over $4,000. Um, yeah. I mean, oh, you mean to, to, well, to purchase or to rent? It, it depends. But um, the, the threshold uh, for affordable housing uh, that uh, Clarkstown, for example, is contemplating potentially for the Rock and Country Day site uh, was put at around $1,600 a month. So, yeah, I mean, I guess affordability in this county is a relative number. So, yeah. yeah very relative. <laughs> It is. It is. No, it's. It's an. Interesting I know. I know. Oh, it's an interesting thing when you contemplate. Well, what? What's? What's? You know, if you have a house and you're mostly paid off in your mortgage, um, and you can carry the taxes, I guess you need to weigh that against what it costs to get into um, one of these developments, where at least you're not responsible for, you know, your gardening and yep. and your snow removal and. Um, every time something breaks, um, you know, and then you respond. It, it takes a lot to run a house, as, as, as homeowners know. So that's, that's um, it's, it's an interesting trend to watch. It's, it's popping up everywhere. Um, some of it is controversial. You know, the Buckley Farm is, is still seeking to subdivide a 30-acre site into, uh, you know, 195 senior housing units they want to do there. Uh, so, and you know, Clarkstown has has built in um, 
a, a, a lever to expand these numbers for for senior housing if if it wants to go back and, and amend its 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 text and it uh, its code and it, of course it can. So it, it's it's just I think in the next year couple of years it's going to be interesting to see uh, how much appetite there is, how many of these projects go through countywide. Uh, and at what point we start to find ourselves at a uh, at a critical mass. So we will keep reporting on this, and you can find this in rcbizjournal.com. You got it. And, and we'll talk to you next Monday. And I just wanted to mention that uh, the Rockland Business Journal report with Tina Traster also brought to you by Leonard Burbrower, attorney at law. I'm Leonard Burbrower, a practicing personal injury attorney in Rockland County and the Hudson Valley. If you've had an accident, a fall down, or a work-related accident, I'm the person to see. 914-672-3775. I'm conveniently located in New City and available 24-7. The lawyer you choose can make a difference. Let me have the privilege of being that lawyer. Find me on Instagram and Facebook. 914-672-3775.